and it absolutely tells me nothing about which BAM! Okay, took a risk and it paid off like a champ. Alright gamers, welcome back! We're playing Stranded Deep and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great morning. We're back here in Stranded Deep. 0.37 experimental, of course. We've got, uh, well, this is our home island. We got back to home island here last, uh, well, it was late in the day, and so I figured, let me just head on out here and gather some resources. But, of course, I don't have what it takes. I got the leather and stuff. I guess I could make a pickaxe, but I left my pickaxe on the other island. So I figured, well, let me just come along here, do some gathering of this and that. But actually, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty dark. So, yeah, so we have a big project to take care of today. We want to do our deep freezer at our house, which is on the other side of this island, which is away from these sticky logs. But, yeah, okay, so we're going to do that. Let me go get some rest, and I will basically see you in the morning. And we'll start working on our home here. Here, hold on a sec. And we're back. And I got another one out of here. I got another one. <laughs> For some reason, I can't get this one, which is weird, man. I can't get this one out to save my life. Come on, man. Uh, uh, the other one, I, I walked it out. I grabbed it, and I just started walking backwards. But here, with the ocean in my way and whatnot, it doesn't seem to... And rocks and all that. It doesn't... Uh, it doesn't want to give. It doesn't want to give. I don't know. And this other jittery one, it just doesn't want to. But, but, here's the positive part of all of this. Because I the reason I came back to try that one more time is because... I had, like, here, one, let me see here, two, three, four, yeah, like four of those, and then a door, and let me tell you, an odd number, that doesn't really help much, and I was kind of looking, saying, well, where am I going to put, like, here, because it's only one, two, three, and then, a, and then a door, and I would be left with an extra panel, right, but if I kind of did a double foundation, right, if I had the door right here, and then it was one, two, three, four, five, it could be like a double length, Freezer, I and mean, we'll be like a walk-in freezer. We could go in for for two, right? Now, here's the funny part: is um, you don't you don't make a freezer out of wood. Now, in the last episode, I stuck this foundation down right here, saying, "Oh, this is gonna be a little freezer zone because that's all the amount of walls that I had." But now that I freed that other one, and I can actually make it a double floor, I've, I'm thinking wood is not gonna work. And even if I come out like this, I think well, not that I, I don't even have enough wood, anyways. But here it is, here corrugated, everyone. Corrugated, that's what's up. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I, I mean, it might be a little unsightly. Actually, hold on a second, which way should we bring this? Should we stick it out here? I'm thinking two foundations made out of corrugated, all the red walls around it. And we're going to need corrugated for a roof as well. Isn't that going to be a problem now? Hmm, how much do those cost? Probably another four, right? But still, we can figure that out later. It would be a, definitely a good start, but, oh, they're four as well. Well, oh, that's going to be painful, man. Yikes, I don't think we're going to be able to come up with that. So we got, what, eight? I don't think we ever come up with 16 corrugated, do we? Not not usually. Not usually. So anyways, that's what I was thinking. And you know what? If our roof has to be wood, well, so be it. But when we walk in, at least, you know, the floor would be metal. Unless we just do one... F hmm. Unless we just do one metal. But we would be left with walls, which kind of stinks. We'd be left with two walls, and I'm not sure exactly what to do with those two walls. If we had four walls, it'd be alright, make like a, something out of it. But at least that way we could put corrugated foundation, put the, you know, the three walls and the door, and then put corrugated roof on top, or like another floor, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Is that what we should go for? Oh man, I kind of like the double length idea, I just don't know what I would put above it. I'd either just wait to get more corrugated, or we would slap down some of this stuff. Would that make a nice ceiling for a cold room? Not really. I think it's got to be corrugated. Hmm. You know what we'll do? Okay, so you know what we're going to do? Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do one, but we're going to leave it open for expansion. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to just, for the time being anyways, right? So that's that's what we'll do. So just, let me see. Is this where, is this really the best spot for this? Because if I go over here, can I see what this is going to look like? Yeah, you see it's going right into the rocks. And then if we come over here... It might not even go, actually, anyways. Here, it would definitely go one, two, whatever, for sure. Unless we started it here, and then had it expand out here. Hmm. Hmm. And then what would we put over here? Some kind of, like, oh, I guess we would have our bedroom and dining room upstairs anyways. This would literally be, oh, you know what? Let's do, why don't we do that? Would that be ugly? It's just, it's going to come into our house a bit, right? But we have our door right here, and... It would sort of open, or we could have our door on the side over here. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we should just get rid of this foundation. I don't know. 
Or maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe that's what will end up happening. We'll just end up getting rid of that and we'll expand it that way. That's exactly what we'll do. Okay, let's do it like that. Instead of it sticking out like an eyesore, let's just keep our dimensions the way we were going to have. I was thinking, you know, stick it out here. And that way we have a 5x3. But I think it's going to be a bit of an eyesore with this thing sticking out the side, right? This way it looks like part of the building. Now, is this? Or is there a better way to put this? Let's see. I don't think it really matters. This this won't matter. Bam, you're going in. Okay, let's go. Actually, what would be really nice is clay. <laughs> a clay foundation. But no, you know, when you're talking... I don't know. No, not really. When we're doing refrigeration and whatnot, I think metal is the way to go. Clay is like... That's like for ancient people. We're high-tech survivors here. We, we, we got like... You know. Okay. So, let's... um. Let's grab our door. Let's see what this is going to even look like. Can we do this? What's this going to look like? Doors. Uh, right here. Bam. Okay. That doesn't tell me any which way this is going to open. Oh, man. Okay. What if we go... Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. So, what? Can we rotate this? We sure can. And it absolutely tells me nothing about which... Bam! Okay. Took a risk, and it paid off like a champ. All right. Here we go. That's, that's my doors. Look! Oh, man, sweet. This is going to be epic. Okay, I don't think I've ever built anything like this before. Can we build a wall out of these things? we got to go into the craft... Okay, we're going into the crafting menu. All right, hold on, everyone. Walls. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Bam. Ooh. Well, that looks industrial, doesn't it? Okay, okay, okay. As a matter of fact, I wonder... No, we wouldn't be able to remove the... If we put the plant... If we put this red around here... Hmm. Hmm. Like, maybe this is where the frozen meat will go, and this will be, like, where dry goods go. Like maybe we could just do that. What do you think? Probably. Probably. And then that way... Well, we could put a corrugated above our heads here. Let's let's do that before we forget, actually. Where are you? Not here, either. Okay. Well, hold on a second. Let, let's... Hmm. Boy, oh boy, there's so many possibilities. It's awesome. Okay, so tell you what. Let's go... Let's go like this. Bam. Okay, okay. Oh, this is this is seriously industrial right here. Seriously industrial. This is this is insanity. So Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I mean I've got the two walls. Why why wouldn't I not use them, right? One, two, and then three. I only need three more walls, and that's exactly what I've got. Might as well use them, man. Okay, you can't do it that way. Let's go. Might as well use them. Might as well use them. Well what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Besides, you know, we'll wickedly ugly. Um let's try like this. And like this and let's let's go all right so yeah we can kind of have there we go there we go we can put corrugated above the first section in fact in fact i wonder if we can't you know it would normally be the other way around like dry goods and then the deep freeze like i don't think you'd walk through the deep freeze to get to the whatever man no one's paying any attention to that who cares about that all right we didn't even bring that we didn't even bring that up that's not even for discussion that's not up for discussion it doesn't matter okay so let's see let's see let's see let's see because this this is actually interesting all right this is this is okay so if we put corrugated right there and build this bad boy up like this oh we're not gonna have enough to put wood above there hmm we're missing two planks. I might have to cut a palm tree down. Or either that or... Um, you know what? We're going to end up going back to our, our homemade island anyway fairly soon. Maybe not today, but uh, you know, we'll go back there. Because i got to get clay and rocks and this and that. There's, there's some clay stuff we want to build as well. But you know what? This... I could put an arch right here probably. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We have enough planks for that. Let's have a look-see here. If we put a plank... An arch, whatever we're going to call it. Can we do this? Can we do this? We sure can. Oh, that's cool, man. And then, and then, oh, and then we can make, like, we can separate them. In fact, hmm, we don't have any more corrugated. Oh, that would be nice to have a little corrugated. Well, you know what? Hold on a second. What does a corrugated, just one. We could put a corrugated door in between. Eh, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. You guys let me know what you think about that, putting a door here. And that way, you know, we can kind of step in and I just, maybe it'll get too crowded. Because I want to kind of put my, you know, some, some. What do you call them? Chests in here, right? Some some of our crates. Line them up. Kind of make them a bit of a storage area. So, yeah, we don't have enough planks for a roof above our head here. But that is a pretty good little start. Let's close that up. No, let's close it up, buddy. You got this. Eh, that's pretty good. Let's, uh, actually, we can see it from above, can't we? Let's go over here. We might just have to cut down a palm tree. And wait a second. Wait, we don't have a hammer. Oh, we do have a hammer. We don't have an axe is what we don't have. Hmm. A refined axe. 
This can be pretty sweet. If I get more corrugated, well, four corrugated or a door. I think I, I think I'm gonna scrap the door idea. Well, you guys let me know what you think, but let's get I'm gonna get some crates in there. We're gonna get some food in there, and I think we're just gonna put wood above it. Hmm. Or corrugated would be nice. But we gotta do some serious Well, we have to do more exploring anyways, right? We gotta go get our duct tape. We gotta go get this and that. So yeah, let me see here. Why why is there cloth kicking around here? Is that from the last time we made something? We got doors missing. Cause we need like we need one, two. Wow, and then so five, six. We need at least six. Which is what times four? We need twenty-four more planks just to finish our second floor, anyways, not counting some of the walls that are missing over here. Actually, we can put walls in, can't we? Let's do that. Oh, wait, this is a door frame going here. Right. Okay, let's, let's do that before we forget. I'm, you know, I got so many jobs on the go. I don't even have my pier done yet. This, this is getting ridiculous. So, here. Let's let's go like this. Is that? No, that's not. I don't think that is that. Wait, what? Yeah, it is. No. Hold on a second. Come on, you got this. Turn it, buddy. There it is. That's the one I'm looking for. You got this. Bam. Okay. Okay, so that that's kind of my roundabout. See, I, we can put more water things in there too, which we haven't upgraded our water situation either. It's kind of embarrassing. I mean, how many days are we here? 14? 15? 14 days. 14 days. We still don't have clay jars. We're still sipping water out of a coconut two weeks after we've arrived. And this is getting embarrassing. So, okay, let's do this. With our last two planks, let's not let's not save them up, okay? Let's not be saving planks here. Let's put in our door here. Or at least our door frame. And there we go. In fact, wait a second. This kind of blocks everything, so we should probably have a door frame here as well. This should be our our escape or our back or our side door anyway, so we can come in here like this and throw our stuff into the freezer whenever it is that we attack sharks and this and that. Yeah, I think that should be a door. I was going to put a window, but we're going to put an arch there. We're going to put an arch. Let's put an arch like that. Okay. Upgrade this bad boy. And nice. And nice. Okay. Yeah, that's that's more realistic. Okay, so that way, you know, when we get our roof in there, or our second floor gets built up there. So that way we can kind of come upstairs. And this will all be closed in. That's weird looking, man. Okay, but that's good. That's good. And then we'll have to get walls up there. And then, of course, the roof. We might go for a thatch roof since it's wood and everything. And then we're going to save all of our clay for another clay building, which we'll probably put over there if there's enough room. Uh, attach it to our pier somehow. Maybe like a lighthouse or something. You know, we built a tower once. I think we're going to do that again. That's what's going to happen. Pretty sure. So, okay. Do we have to water anything over here? We probably do. Yeah, we probably do. This one here. Oh, they all need watering. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the this is the worst part about using the coconut. You need back and forth like a chump. This is why we need this is why we need clay. This is why we need clay. So what do we need to um, I think we just need a furnace, right? In order to make the yeah, the brick station is only for bricks. So we need a, a clay state well, no, what's it called? A furnace. Clay furnace. So we're gonna be working on that pretty soon too. There we go. Fill these things up. Because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, it works in, in a pinch, right? But we're, day 14, we shouldn't be in a pinch. I disagree with the whole being in a pinch situation. Well, at least we can reach it from here. That's kind of nice. There we go. There we go. Hey, any, any more fruits growing on there? It seemed like they were growing. We were having a problem with our fruits growing in the last season as well. Well, just because when we did the update there, we had a bit of a situation. But Okay. Okay, okay, so the last thing I really want to do today is get up some torches. Well, not torches. I don't have torches, but you know what I mean. I'll get up some hooks for my lanterns. So, hmm, I definitely want to have one at each door. So should I have it? Now, normally speaking, you would put a lantern on the outside, right? But we don't live on the outside. We live on the inside. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. We're going to put it on the inside. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. Where is it? A hook. All right, so... If we just put it around the same height as that window to our right, not, I mean, not like here, but, you know, like here, maybe. Yeah. Because we got a couple of lanterns, and I saw them just lying on the ground. So how does that look? Actually, that looks pretty good. That's pretty sharp, buddy. You did a good job there. Much to be proud of there. So here's the, here's the key. Okay. Getting it 
just as high on the other side. We're gonna just see if we can't go like this. And oh wait, 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 wait. That, that was a good a good attempt and everything. Okay, so here's the door frame, and then it's pretty much on the very next piece of wood. Okay, so it's around this height. There's the door frame. It's on the next piece of wood, right? Am I right? Oh man, this doesn't look good. That is some pretty shoddy work right there. Okay, I think it should be a little higher, like like, ooh, eh, eh, like that. That'll be fine. That'll be just fine. It might be higher actually than the other one, but that looks that looks pretty sharp. You're not gonna lie to you. I like that. Proud of that. Okay, so that at least at least we have a little light, and then we'll have a back door. I'm sure. Right, we're gonna have, let's see here, we won't have another door right here, that doesn't make sense, because we got one there, but I think there should definitely be one maybe right in the middle, or here. Um, it's just if I go in this direction, then I can put a bit of a balcony, right, we got room for a balcony back here, I guess we could wrap something around here, do we even have them sticks? Hmm, not that many, not that many. I could do, what is it, 4, 4, 4, 4, like 16, hmm, look at our nice backyard and everything, this is gonna be sharp, man, look at this thing, it's pretty sweet, <laughs> get up there, buddy, okay, okay, he's got this, alright, so there's our cold storage, alright, cold storage is done, our lights are up, that's pretty good, what do we got left in our pockets here, we've got 37% on the hammer, we've got no more planks, we've got no more corrugated, as far as I know, maybe I should double check that, We've got tarps. We should probably use tarps. Hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. And it's once upon a time somebody told me that over, well, over where we're gonna put our maybe our light. I call it a lighthouse. Where we're gonna put a tower over there, basically with our, attached to our pier. And then uh, somebody once told me to use tarps for like a like a kind of like a boat dock kind of a situation thing. And I think I think we're gonna do that too. Is this all empty? Oh man, we're gonna have to do some storage, but evening is coming here. So, okay. Well, let's do that. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will come back in the morning here, since this is gonna be evening f in about half an hour. And I'm just gonna sort through my stuff here. And get some boxes in here, maybe we can do a little organizing. I still got junk on the ground here, so let me clean up and I'll see you in the morning. And we're back. And it's come to my attention that, uh, we don't have light in our fridge. Here, I went and stuck these lights on the wall, which is okay, but even this one here, if I open this up... I mean, look! Oh, we need some better light than that. We should actually maybe put a light right on the back wall here. And I do have another lantern. As a matter of fact, do I have sticks on me? No, I do not. Where's my sticks? Where's my sticks? Uh, here's some sticks. Uh, let's put up a little... Let's put a little hook up. I was thinking, actually, to put it on the side. And maybe I still should. I don't know. Would, would that be better, like, here? As opposed to... Oh, no, I can't go here anyway. Look at all wobbly part. we got to put on a nice solid post here. Okay, okay. Well, decision is made. Bam. Okay. No, they got to get that leather... I was just kind of thinking, well, if I put it on the back of the wall, right, then it, it would be all the way back there, a little further away from... Oh, here's over here. Oh, we have two lanterns here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got all kinds of lanterns. Okay, well, good, good. I was a little concerned that it would be dark over here now, but I, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Fantastic. So this will be just fine. This this is a bit of a... I mean, we could take that one down and just leave the hooks there and put it somewhere else, but... No, you know what? This is going to be great. Stick that right there. There we go. Now we can see our fridge. So in the deep freeze section, I stuck the meat, of course. And over here, we just got our baked beans. So, yeah. So anyway, we'll leave that layer like that for now. In fact, yeah, we're a little bit hungry, but I'm hoping by tomorrow morning we're going to have a little bit of some fruits. So over here, we got some tools. They're mostly our lighting. That's got to come out of there. So lighting and torches and flare guns and this kind of... That's all going to go in there. Tor uh, flashlights and whatnot. In here, we're going to have our label maker and our compass. And, well, right now we've got some scuba gear in there. Now, I haven't labeled anything yet. I just want to get stuff in position. Because these, these three crates here are empty. And... We're going to need kind of like a medical area, and I'm thinking the medical area is probably going to be... Should it be? No, I, can't, I was going to say should, maybe it should be on the second story, but no, because we're going to come running in here with our raft. Especially when we get that engine. We're going to come flying in here. We're going to need our medication right away. Also, here's raw materials in there, and here's like finished products. Okay? So that's that's how it's going to go for now. We've got our tool. we got our... For those of you who haven't seen, there's the workstations right outside. We can use them. Here's our gardening... Well, gardening supplies. We don't have a table. We, we meant to put a table out here, but we haven't quite done that yet. Okay, so we, what are we? We're in bad shape. I think we're just going to go eat and sleep, and we will see you in the morning. And we're back. Beautiful, sunny morning here. And trying to, whoop. Whoop. Why is my arm way down there? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, weird. All right, so we're back here in Stranded Deep. And, uh, okay, so we, we did a little bit of organizing last night. Here, hold on a second. Let's take a little quick look. 
we got a, one other thing we'd like to do as well. So I had to add a box here because once I started getting my leather, I right, had 12 there and what, two here? So 14 leather, it's quite a bit actually. We should but we should make a pickaxe there in the next series. And, well, maybe I'll go get some clay, whatever, between this episode and the next. Uh, anyway, but we got tools over here. So our lighting is in here. We got a bunch more of those flare guns. Bunch of gear in here as well. And we've got bandages. So as a matter of fact, since, since where is it? Here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, Let, let's name this box. This, this is this is bandages, right? Let's just call this bandages. All right, bandages are right there. Oh, I like I like how it labels. That's cool. Okay, and then this is meds. Meds. Uh, enter. It works. Sweet meds. And then over here we've got aloe. Uh, let's call it aloe vera, shall we? Oh boy. Okay. Hard to see, but sure, sure. Okay. And then over here, uh, we're just going to call this, let's call this lighting. I don't know. Does that fit on there? Lighting. Okay, lighting. And then over here, what was this again? Uh, it's pretty much just tools, right? Uh, tools. Something like that. Utensils, tools, I don't know. And then, okay, so what are we going to call this? I don't, I don't know. Leather? No, hides. Let's call this, hmm. Whoa, don't pick it up, buddy. Hides. Let's call that one hides. Let's call this one hides for the time being. And then let's call this one uh, cloth. Okay. How does that look? It needs to be darker, to be honest. Like, it's, it's, it's barely, you can barely see it. It needs to be, like, black. Black, like, over here. Why, why? Why does this look like it's super dark? Because it's in the shade? When the lens, the light's facing it, it's not, it's not as awesome? And this is just basically building materials. Actually, we're going to need that hammer. Okay, so let's not label anything. What? We're full? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're taking all our little sticks with us. So, oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't go in lighting, buddy. With labels or not, I can still make a mess of everything, okay? So, toss that in there, like that. And I wanted to go finish up my pier over here. I had some sticks, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should make my stick table that I've been wanting to make for a while. But this, this has been completely neglected over here. And if we're going to take over this beach properly from King Crab right there, we're going to need a pier. And we're gonna need like a tower and this and that, so we gotta get this pier going here. And just how far can we get this thing? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Just just put it in there. Try to figure out which direction it's pointing. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. All right. And let's see here. Oh man. This is this is low. We built this way too low. Oof. Okay. I think I think was it the only option we had? I think what we could have done was started back here. And then attach them, right? Because we just started attaching them afterwards. Like, this one here is floating. Oh, that's right. And we have, a sh we have a pet shark here. And, okay. So, look at this. Hmm. I don't know how much I like this. I don't know how much I like this. But we've already wasted all these sticks, so... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. For a second there, you had me going. Wait, what? Wait, what? We had it just a second ago. There, like that. What? What? You're so this game is so weird. Come on, what is that? Oh, okay. Tell you what, like, what? So there's nothing in the way. It's going in there. What did it do? Right there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, weird. It's just like depends on what angle you're at. So this is going right into the ground, which means our foundation is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So how how much how many sticks have I ruined here? One, two, I just put in three, four, five, six. Oh, man. It's like six, right? It's about six six pieces. I'm thinking I'm going to wreck it. I think I'm going to destroy that. I, I think. Man, I don't know. I'm get some sticks. So I'm going to have to go on a stick run for sure. I don't want to cut down my beautiful palm trees on my island. This is my island, right? I don't like doing that. But I think what I should have done was started here. A little high. Well, I mean, it doesn't even have to be that much higher, right? I mean, let me, me me look at this landscape here. A little bit higher, right? A little bit higher. If we built our tower right here, hmm. And then I think we can just attach. I'm pretty sure we can just attach the the pier to it, and it doesn't have to touch the ground, right? Can we go in here? Are we gonna get a bit? Okay. You see how it's not touching the ground right there? Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh. Okay, I know he's out there. We'll hunt him right from the pier, no problem. What time of the day is it? 9.30. He's finally getting his arm up. Okay, weird. Alright, so, okay, I'm going to leave that like that for now. I think what we're going to do is go 
find some sticks, this and that, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little resource gathering, so, because, I mean, I can't even get the rocks off of this island and this and that, and if I'm gonna go over and start using my pickaxe, it's gonna wear out, so, what, what does it take for that, anyways? Uh, I think what we'll do, is this it here? I think it takes two leather and two, and two, uh, what do you call them? Uh, one, one leather, two sharp sticks, okay, there we go, and then we've gotta make, mm, we've got the normal sticks, where are my rocks? In here somewhere, no? They sure are. Like this and like this, and then can I build it? I sure can. Sweet. And there. Okay. So with this thing, I'm going to get some rocks, but I think I'm going to go focus on getting some clay. And, oh, you know what? What's this at? 83%. Okay, well, we'll use it up. Hmm. What's the upgrade for this? Is it one, one rock? One sharp rock, I believe it is. Let's take a quick look at that. Tools. Uh, and one leather. So let's make one more leather. Can we do it from here? We sure can. Oh, what a sweet setup that is. So, did we get any fruit last night? No fruit popped up in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we're doing pretty good, though, actually, in that department. A little bit of water is required, but... So, yeah, I'm gonna go gather some resources, this and that. I got some more sticks. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for as many sticks as I can get my grubby hands on. And we'll have to rebuild that pier, I think, in the, in the coming episodes. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little crazy trip through Stranded Deep. We upgraded this home pretty nicely, too, if I do say so myself. It's got a ways to go, but you, it's, it's taking shape. It's absolutely taking shape, and I'm pretty happy about that. If you took a look in here, look at this. We've got, we've got our meat, which we had some of the medium meats because we were starving. And we've got some beans still. we got some beans. We're going to set this up a little differently in here, but for now, that's how it's going to be. Just until we get more resources to build some more you know, some cooler stuff, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this little episode of Stranded Deep, don't forget to hit that like button, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.